Beware, this excerpt is not for the faint of heart. Hey guys, welcome to my stack of five for February. If you are unfamiliar with stack of five, basically I pull out five books every month, show you guys what they are, and you vote on which one you want me to read and do a video review of. This is to kind of help me work through the books that I own that aren't for review, that I just have bought and want to read and haven't had a chance to. This month I will once again be using it to choose a fairy tale book for Fairy Tale Fortnite. So the review won't come until March sometime, but I will be reading it this month and I need you guys to help me decide which one. Once again, I'm going to read excerpts of each book to help you decide, so just a sentence or two from the very beginning so that you can get an idea of the style. And I will also leave links to all of the books below so that you can look into them and make a more informed decision. But basically, the five books up for voting this month are Entwined by Heather Dixon An hour before Azalea's first ball began, she paced the ballroom floor, tracing her toes in a waltz. She had the opening dance with the king, who danced like a brick. Toads and Diamonds by Heather Tomlinson Dear Bonnie ran toward the step wall. Squinting against the glare, she splashed through the road's deep ruts, pink skirts slapping her calves, her long black braid thumping her shoulders. One hand steadied the empty clay jar on her head. Mud sucked at her bare feet, but the rest of her was dry for a change. Tender Morsels by Margot Lanigan There are plenty would call me a slut for it. Me, I was just glad she had shown me. Now I could get this embarrassment off me. Now I knew what to do when it stuck out its dim, one-eyed head. Ketura and Lord Death by Martine Levitt. I'm going to skip past the prologue and go straight to the first chapter on this one. I was sixteen years old the day I was lost in the forest. Sixteen the day I met my death. Lips Touch Three Times by Lainey Taylor. This is actually three stories, but I'm just going to read you a little bit from the very first one, called Goblin Fruit. There is a certain kind of girl the goblins crave. You could walk across a high school campus and point them out. Not her. Not her. Her. The pert, lovely ones with butterfly tattoos in secret places sitting on their boyfriend's laps? No, not them. The girls watching the lovely ones sitting on their boyfriend's laps? Yes. Them. So, those five again are Lips Touched Three Times by Lainey Taylor, which is not a direct retelling of any particular tales, but three stories that are all sort of fairy tale esque in nature. Ketura and Lord Death by Martine Levitt, which again is more fairy tale esque than a direct retelling. Tender Morsels, a very, very dark retelling of Snow White and Rose Red. Toads and Diamonds by Heather Tomlinson, which is a retelling of the tale of the same name, Diamonds and Toads, set in India. And Entwined by Heather Dixon, a retelling of the Twelve Dancing Princesses, which was my favorite story when I was a kid. So, let me know which one you want me to read and do a video review of in the comments. The voting will be open until the 7th, and you get one vote, so the first book that you list will be the one that I'm counting as your vote. I'm curious to see which one you guys pick for me because I really, really want to read all of them. Um, they've all been pretty high on my list for a while now, and I just haven't had a chance. So pick a good one for me, but I'm sure they're all going to be. I will be curious to see which one you guys go for. Of course, you are also welcome to steal my stack of five idea and do it yourself. Um, if you are having trouble deciding what to read or you're wanting to work through the massive stacks of books that you own like I am, feel free to pull out five and ask everyone to vote on them and leave it as a video response and I will come vote, I promise. Until next time, that's all from me. Happy reading!